Okay, so today we're going to have a look at uh, the shoulder. When someone comes in to you, they lift their arm up like this and they say, oh, it's painful, which is impingement. What can you do? There are lots of things you can do, but we're going to keep it simple. Okay, so some basic mechanics. Shoulder. Okay, so you get something called scapular humeral rhythm. Scapular humerus. Okay. So after 60 degrees, as the humerus lifts up like this, the scapula rotates. Okay. If it didn't, humerus would get up to here and bang into the chromium. Okay. So to have a healthy shoulder, especially for overhead athletes, yogis, people that do back bends and put their hands on the floor, you need a scapula that rotates in time with the humerus. Okay. So Again, if someone comes in and says, you know, I get pain when I lift my arm up, you need to have a look at the scapular humeral rhythm, which is easy. All I do is say, Matthew, can you lift your arm up? Okay. I'll turn you to the side. Turn to the side. There. That is the point scapula, the inferior angle, okay, scapula goes up like that, comes up like that, there's the point, okay, if I come up in a line, it meets a crease, okay, of the axilla, if Matthew lifted his arm up like this, that was over there, that is not good scapular rhythm, Okay. So I know that even though he gets his arm up, the scapula stops here, there's impingement. We need to get the scapula rotating all the way up so that the inferior angle is in line with this crease over here. Right. If it doesn't, right, if it doesn't rotate all the way up, what can we do? Okay. A couple of simple things. Standing like this, I could assist. So if we go down with you and lift up, lift up your arm, lift your arm, lift your arm, yeah, lift your arm, and down, and lift, and down, okay? Very simple technique, it can be effective. For someone like me, that's actually got some restrictions, all right, you need to do soft tissue work. So I'd just like to show you, Matthew? That's right. Okay. So just straight ahead. Yep. Feet straight ahead. Okay. Lift your arms up. Like that. Yeah. Okay. I'm not bad, but there's definitely a difference. Okay. And the tip of my scapula is back here. Truly. It's not here. It's back there. Right. If we lie on the floor, you'll soon see I've got a soft tissue restriction. So Matthew, can you lie on the floor, please? Your back. Put your arms over your head. I'm jealous. Look at me. That's it. Yeah. So I've got soft tissue restrictions that are stopping my scapular humeral rhythm. I don't think it's a strength issue. Okay. So what do we do? Matthew, can you lie on the mat on your side, please? Alright. So, a nice simple technique. Okay. I can support the arm in this position. Bring your leg over. Okay. So, here, I can do soft tissue work. Get into the rotator cuff muscles, loosen up the triceps, fine. Once I've done all my soft tissue work, I want to bring the scapula into a new position. Okay? So as Matthew reaches, I assist. Up we go. Up we go. Until I'm happy that I've increased scapular rhythm. 
Fine. What next? We have to give Matthew an exercise, okay, to keep the length, yeah, and keep the strength of the muscles that rotate the scapula up. So in this position, okay, to keep the flexibility, something called a windmill. All right. I stabilize the lumbar spine. Matthew, can you open your arm? Open your arm. All right, so he can keep that arm flat on the floor. If he couldn't, I would bring his leg over. Okay, but he can. Very flexible. We're pretending now he's not. Okay, take that away. Okay. So just like a windmill, I want you to scrape the floor. Yeah, over you go, over you go, over you go. And come back again. Reach high, scrape the floor. Fantastic. So, not only is this working the shoulder, it's also the T-spine, okay? All the way to the lower back. So it's a full movement pattern. This I would ask him to do three times a day, maybe 15 times, okay? To strengthen the muscles and rotate the scapula now. Can you copy me, please? Yes. Right. So, on your elbows. On your feet. Right. We're going to reach. I think let's use this arm. Come back. So this one stays still. Right. Reach, roll, and lift. Stay there. Right. Can you focus on the muscles over here, please? Okay. Go down again, Matthew. Come back. Right. So he reaches. The scapula rotates all the way up. Fine. He rolls, we lock the joint, and now he lifts. Fantastic. Lower trapezius, which is often weak on people, activates. So all the muscles that rotate the scapula up are working now in a very safe environment. Thank you, Matthew. Alrighty. And you could progress this into some exercises, real life exercises. Can you put your hands on the door, please? Okay, feet off the floor. So bend your, bend your knees back towards me. Yeah, feet towards me, Matthew. You're going to do a pull up. Okay, can you do a pull up? Wow, fantastic. And down. Look at that scapular humeral rhythm. Brilliant. Come up. And down. Fantastic. Well done. Relax. Okay. If someone can't do pull-ups like this, you get them to do horizontal pull-ups, okay? Push-ups is a good exercise. Rowing, climbing ropes, okay? So we do the therapy, we give them rehabilitation exercises, shouldn't last forever, because it's boring, and then we get them back into real life again. Okay. Matthew, thank you very much. Thank you.